So we need to take a closer look at Pirate World. It needs quite a bit more, obviously, to be a functioning uh, zone of the park, but let's, I don't know, maybe include some more rides. We've got to get the pathway more towards the beaches for sure. We actually have quite a few people going over towards uh, our new zone. A lot more than I, I thought was going to be. I, there's, yeah, I'm, I'm happy about this because there's only really one ride there. Um, but, you know, at the very least, people are, are visiting the new area. This is this is nice. We we definitely need to work on more bins, more more trash bins. That, that's got to be a thing because th there's vomit like probably everywhere. Wow. OK, I think I'm I'm very glad that I made this queue nice and long. Yep, because that's this is where the party's at. This is where everyone is, uh, they're pre-gaming and they're coming over towards the pirate ship. This actually should be like the alcoholic part of our land. You know what I'm saying? Like we need to, like if, if, any, if, if, if alcohol is going to be legal in any part of the park, it's got to be in pirate world. And you know what? Only type of alcohol that can, that, that's free here, or not free, but that can be sold here, it's got to be rum. Where's the rum gone? I mean, it wouldn't make much sense if we had alcohol in Witch World. It's all scary and freaky and, you know, you don't want to ride this big scary ride. Let's, uh, yeah, so you wouldn't want any of that. That'd just be terrible. And then this is kind of like the, the kid area, um, so it makes sense. And actually, some people have been suggesting that I put, like, one more uh, ride down for kind of kind of one more kid ride. But I don't even know if there are, like, actually, you know, one thing we haven't done is the star. Dang, this thing is huge, but it does fit. It would very much fit in this area. Dang it, I need to put this down. Probably here. Probably there, I'm guessing. All right, let's try it. Because it, it does make sense. I mean, it's a classic theme park ride. Let's do it. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take care of this. Let's get all this out of the way. All right. We would like a good mixture. We want a good mixture of both both, you know, scenery sort of things, trees, and rides. This would kind of finish off. Is this not, is this area not flat enough? Because how would that, how is that possible? How is that not flat enough? Yeah, no, I, I went over this whole zone. Oh, I am totally destroying my my little forest or I'm sorry my little uh, moat there yeah I just don't think it's big enough or, I'm sorry I don't think that this area is at least big enough like I could be I could slap this down over here right yeah this is all good is there not a mini version how do you not have a mini version of this <laughs> like this thing is massive why is this thing thing so massive we already have a carousel. or something else that we can put. This is the pirate ride. Uh, this is kind of fun. That is kind, kind of fun. Kind of, that's the key word. Radius. What is that? I don't think so. I'd like it to be, whatever we put here, it's got to be tall. What is this? It, well, either way, it's too big anyways. Gears of Fear, that's not going to work. Wild Blue. It's not going to fit here. Oh. Alright, fine. Fine, I'll put it... There. We need some. We need something. I went into to, to put a kid's ride in, and uh, we ended up putting something much, much more drastic, I think. It looks better, though. Uh, we do need to fill it out with more trees and stuff like that, but that's fine. Let's slap this down. I'm supposed to be working on Pirate Land right now, guys. I'm very, uh, very ADD at the moment. Okay, so we'll have the queue kind of come around this way. And then the exit will be right here. So to make it real easy, perfect. Let's add an entrance. I'm sorry, add a queue line. Yeah, we'll go with this. And let's, like, start rotating around. Hopefully this, like, lessens some of the pressure up for some of the other rides that we have. Dang, someone's got some intense music. Let's just let's let's do that for now. I think we should be able to. There. Cool. Open it up for business, and uh, and I need to fill out this area too. It's just not gonna it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work unless we have the trees down. 
It is not that sort of tree. There's my crimson trees. Let's just put a few of them in there. Whatever can fit there. Alright, cool. Okay, cool. So we'll keep that in mind. We might want to, uh, you know, check back in with that stuff a little bit later. Hmm. This is the kind of artificial with the way that we did that. Uh, again, this would be a good a good idea to fill around with bushes, but uh, yeah, okay, we'll kind of, I do kind of want to ride this ride. I don't know what it is. Okay, but I need to focus. Let's focus. So at the very least, I mean, one of the cool attractions I thought, like if you were going to buy rum anyways, you needed to buy the rum over here. Where's the rum gone? It's gone to the beaches. Son, you got to go to the beach. So I think we'll connect this out like like so. You'll be able to pass right by the right right by the little boat. Right by where SpongeBob crashed his boat and failed his boating test. And uh, here you go. Now these are all I think scenery buildings, so uh, there's no way I think to connect to them. And then we'll swerve around this way. And if I can, I'd like to make it all the way over here. See, this is a perfect place for a ride. I need that Ferris wheel to go somewhere. So maybe the Ferris wheel will just come here. All right, boom. Okay, screw it. I need a Ferris wheel. Like, it doesn't make any sense that I don't have a Ferris wheel in the park. It needs to be somewhere. There you go. It's not very piratey, is it? <laughs> It, uh, I definitely would say it is not very piratey. But that's fine. That's fine. It, I mean, if I didn't put down the Ferris wheel, people were going to be like, why didn't you put down a Ferris wheel, Drew? And I'm like, I don't know. I failed at life. I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't pass the test here. Everyone wants to go on a Ferris wheel, I think. So let's kind of have this S around it a little bit. Okay, let's, and then that's probably good. Alright, that's not good because I've got to... What the? Why did it go with a different color? Well, that's kind of good to note for the future, at the very least. Yeah, see, that's, that's frustrating that this would, this is going to happen every time, is that, uh, that needs to uh, that needs to change, right there. Man, I didn't even mean to do that. Yeah, I mean, again, the game has gone a long way. They've definitely fixed quite a bit of some of the uh, some of the former path path issues. But uh, you know, obviously, there still needs there still needs to be some more work done. I mean, I guess it's fine because I. I I totally done goofed this this whole thing. I don't even know what color I was going for. Doesn't even seem like I had the right color in the first place. I don't even know what color this is. This does not look like the blue. This is definitely not the blue that I wanted before. All right, let's just delete the whole thing. If I increase the length, no. I was going to say, do I delete more of the path, but it would, that would make sense. I feel as though that would make a lot of sense. Did I mix this up? No, that's definitely the entrance. Okay, I was going to say. Here, let's, let's lower this. Hmm, that's kind of weird. Why is this not working? Oh, I guess I need to pick that sign first. Okay. I don't know what happened. Okay, yeah. So you don't you lost your your privilege to have a nice queue. You lost that. Okay, we'll see if we can get some people at the beaches, but uh but yeah, ideally this would be where the rum is gone. It'd be it'd be going going to the beaches. Um I do need to look at the steam workshop to find obviously. It's kind of one of those things. This is what I I would do for a future series is I would probably build my first like customizable blueprint like so I did that kind of with this this tower I, I should have put a little bit more time into it um, 
and then have like the template go off of this, you know, just edit the template whenever I needed another building. That's kind of what I do in some of the other series. Uh, but that's, that's what I would do and then kind of duplicate this building to a sense in that certain zone. So in fairy tale zone or whatever, I kind of want to do this. Um, but yeah, like in fairy tale zone, that's what we'd see. Oh my gosh, this is scary. Oh, I couldn't even tell that we were going down for a second there. You good? Oh, the dude next to me is not good. He, oh, he's, <laughs> he clearly has like some sort of form of post-dramatic stress disorder because he's not, he's not, he didn't stop screaming. Oh, okay, he's fine now. Okay, good. Well, hopefully he's fine now. I hope he doesn't throw up all over the park. Man, the janitors haven't done much. That is kind of cool. You walk into the park and you see these airplanes, like, flying over you. You know it would be awesome if we had the, the dragon, like, blow fire at them. If we, like, timed it correctly and, like, right when they were, like, right there, the, the fire gets... I don't know. That would probably be pretty dangerous, Drew. You're you're right. If if you're if you're like no, Drew, that's kind of a stupid move. Somebody would probably die. You're right. That's what we'll do. We'll like secretly throw a bunch of kerosene over one random guest, and then so you don't know if you're the one that catches fire or not. Randomly, we're gonna pour some kerosene on one of your legs, and uh, and you just have to hope that you're not the one. Sounds good to me. That doesn't sound like a lawsuit at all. Dang this pathway. So uh, that's another thing is uh, These these initial paths need to be very wide and I think these are pretty wide Jeez. Okay, so yeah uh, We have like no janitor. I, I'm gonna just slap down so many janitors and Just watch as they like clean this whole area up. I'm gonna do like four or five Because it's everywhere There Staff list. How is the staff doing? Hey, we already have like a bunch of janitors. That's the crazy thing about it, though. All right, well, cool. We hired a bunch. Everything's fine now. I think we're going to go just under 2,000. We were close to getting to about 2,000 people. Yeah, there's a lot of, a lot of music going on. A lot of music going down. Oh, good. Good, good people are coming over here. Actually, these are probably the first... Oh, no, no, no. Who is this? Are you the same people that came over here first? No. Well, good. I'm glad that you you guys have made it over here. And they'll be the first ones to ride the Ferris wheel. I kind of like it. But yeah, no, I, I hope that, I mean, future alphas, I'm hoping that they they give us more, again, scary things. Scary things is good. Um, and I, I mean, that's kind of just really at this point all I'm looking for is for the horror theme parks, but I, I might rever return to uh, Planet Coaster for the challenge mode. Um, I, I'm very excited about the challenge mode. I like customizing a park like this, but for me, unless there's like some sort of uh, challenge to it, unless there's some sort of like monetary limit, uh, you know, I, I need that. I need that. And I'm sure challenge mode's probably still, still very work in progress, but um, it would be kind of fun. Definitely, and I'd like to actually explore scavenge scavenge through the uh, steam workshop and get a bunch of like customizable buildings That way we can focus more on just you know having a, a park and stuff like that So I will most definitely be returning to planet coaster. I really love this game I've got high hopes for this cannot wait for the full release in November But I want to check out that challenge mode, so I'll be uh, visiting that pretty soon But anyways guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time